question when you say international? Okay. Good. Okay. Good. So, uh, where, where should I start with? So, thank you for uh, welcoming me. Uh, it was actually a short notice, but uh, we are in the field. I guess this is a part we are not used to to fulfill. Usually, we are asking the hard questions and uh, people are answering. In this case, I think I'm expected to uh, answer a few questions. Uh, I think you were trying to understand what was the landscape of French media or specifically French television. Is that somebody? Can, can, you, can she reformulate the question? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you can begin with uh, the trends of French journalism, like what the process actually is, how the journalism is being carried out. You can even specify the electronic media as uh, you've been working as a TV journalist. So uh, in France, we have, uh, I think this is the, 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 the most important uh, part. We have uh, a still strong uh, public service. Uh, it's, called pub it's, it's called like that, actually. And it's a, it's a group of uh, uh, radio channels. Uh, it's a group of uh, uh, TV uh, channels. And it's mostly or partly uh, or entirely uh, managed somehow by the state as in managed financially the state is a financial contributor and the citizens through the state uh, and then the, yeah but the people in these medias are supposed to be independently or at least partly independently uh, nominated so that uh, the, the the like the not objectivity because it doesn't exist, but at least like the, the, the state has no word on whatever is being said. But it's a, it's a way, I think, to encourage uh, cultural programs and uh, diversity uh, on TV, on radio. I think that is quite, uh, quite unique and quite interesting. And of course, uh, next to that, there are uh, private players, uh, um, Private players uh, in print, uh, private players in uh, in, uh, me in 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 on internet, private players on uh, like pure players, and uh, also on television. And all these people, they they sh all these different uh, actors, they share the they share the information, they share the the, the entertainment, they share uh, all that is to be shared on and 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 transmitted through these medias. So that's the main thing of the, about the. I was, uh, so Matilda just joined. I was talking about public services, yes. like the uh, media as a public service in uh, in France. So, so that's the way it works. And uh, as France twenty four, it's the same. Like the the the, the French state has a participation, but uh, we don't uh, we don't uh, consider ourselves as uh, as a state journalist or. State no, that, that's a. Actually, we consider ourselves as journalists, with, with, like we're not communicants. As independent as you can. Yeah, we're not <laughs> communicating on uh, behalf of our government. So we'll be uh, having this uh, uh, very, uh, like we, we will underline news that are a bit more concerning for, for, for our country, but that's, I think, uh, every media does. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, that's, uh, that's about it. I don't know if you have any other question. Okay, so uh, uh, just... Happen? Just making the session more precise. Ask me that question. Yeah. Uh, they were asking about, uh, yeah. Uh, I just, Maybe you can repeat. Yeah, just uh, wanted to specify to that uh, just making it more precise and interactive will oh. begin with your journey uh, to present, like uh, how you have entered into this field, what were your uh, challenges, what were your experiences, and uh, how smooth your journey would be. <laughs> it's a journey yeah it's, it, it won't be smooth and uh, but if you are passionate passionate yes if you are passionate then it 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 will be very funny but, so so first of all I, I i apologize because my english is a broken english so i hope you will understand everything i will say but um I personally started at, I went to the university, but I was not studying journalism. I was uh, studying uh, English literature. And uh, at the very famous Sorbonne University. Yes, at La Sorbonne University, it's, <laughs> like, it's in Paris. And um, it was funny because uh, at the university, they had a, a studio radio. 
a radio studio, studio radio. Yeah. And uh, one of my friends uh, told me like, yes, if you want, you can come and join us. Sometimes we are doing a web radio for the university and uh, maybe you can, you can do something. And, and I arrived in the studio and I was like amazed. Uh, it was very fun. I really, really liked it. So I decided to, uh, to do some internships in, uh, in radios in France. And then after that, I realized that journalism was great. So I tried to get internship in um, uh, news channels. It was a bit difficult because I was not coming from a journalist, uh, journalism school, but at a point I, I get an internship uh, in a good uh, news channel. And, and I worked a lot and I never said no. And uh, I was always uh, mm -hmm. really trying to propose everything and give the best of myself. And if there was, if they were proposing a shoot on uh, Saturday, Sunday, I was saying yes. <laughs> during my uh, parents' birthday, I was saying yes. Uh, during my best friend wedding, I was saying, yes, I'm going <laughs> because, uh, you know, I wanted to show that I wanted to do that and, uh, and, and then step by step you grow and then you start to do from small stories you do middle stories and then big stories and then documentary and uh, and uh, and it starts uh, it's easier after some years but it's a tough um it's a tough job it's 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 nice but it's not every day easy i i would say but if you like it, then it will be amazing. You just have to. It's a very adventurous. Pardon me, uh, she is a very modest, but uh, let me say that you can see at what ease and competence uh, I may. Uh, she came all the way from Delhi to uh, have a me, uh, uh, discussion with me, and I am. We are glad to be here at MGM. But yes. really, I mean. Uh, indeed, I mean, so, uh, both of them in the short interaction, I found that so they there's so much. Please. Yes, we have students of international journalism and mass communication and journalism amongst us. I would request each student one by one if you would like to ask any question or would like to discuss regarding anything uh, in terms of French uh, TV and French journalism, you are most welcome. Any question? Yes. Sure. Vivek is a faculty. Uh, I request. Independent journalism seems I to be more effective than mainstream journalism now, nowadays. How will the journey of independent journalism in the future? By your view. Sorry. Can you, uh, can you repeat the question? I request, I request the students to please oh, drop your uh, questions in the chat independent box. Independent journalism seem to be more effective. More effective. <laughs> Wait, I mean, there's a confusion because the lady is talking. No, and one second. Like, uh, to, to to Zain, one second. I yeah. have a question yeah. push around. Yes, yes, question is that. Nowadays, independent journalism seems to be a more effective than the mainstream journalism, like mm -hmm. electronic media, radio, and other print media. So, how will the journey of independent journalism be in the future? But what do you mean by mainstream media? Just like a electronic media, which working uh, like a I mean, the mainstream, uh, they are giving a twenty-four by seven news and features and all the things, which are so for you, t TV is mainstream. TV. TV, and electronic, public, like uh, everything on the social yeah, media, media that is more independent media, print media. Print media. The wire and yeah. the... Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But there are so many independent journalists who are working very well nowadays. So it will be the future of the journalism, uh, independent journalism? Uh, independent journalism uh, exists, but independent uh, from who is the question? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, like, like, who are the people who are going to be interested in owning medias? Who are the people who are currently owning medias? Uh, what are the interests of good information? Who is interested in it? I think all these things are changing, and there's no, there's no one side. Internet is independent, even though it's resourceful because internet is like 
the mind of citizens and this is a place where many people are interacted at the same time. But it doesn't mean that it's uh, less manipulable, that you can still manipulate information on the internet and maybe even more there. And uh, it's, it's just, uh, I mean, your question is like, I think it's mostly on the other way around. It's not <laughs> about the people, it's, it's mostly the people who are watching or who are using this information and who want information. Like this yeah. is them who are going to change the, the world system this way. I mean, I don't know if you, if I answered your, your question, it's not going to, oh, this is working. It's, it's mostly like, yeah. like, what are the people looking for? So it depends on the context and many. Uh, I think it's the responsibility of the viewers to learn how to search the good information. Exactly. Because even on TV, uh, TV is not only mainstream. Of course, in France, we have the same thing. We have news channel who are broadcasting uh, 24 hours of uh, news and sometimes it's like very cheap quality because they just want to be the first and um, the quality is very low but you also have like um, very high quality news channel like friends 24 for example i'm sorry to say that you know, <laughs> it's true because they are like uh, for them the quantity doesn't matter yeah. they are always asking us for the for the quality and so they they won't yeah. ask us to produce, produce, produce. They will say, okay, uh, we will take this story when we will propose the story and they can wait for two, three weeks because they just want to have a good information. So the viewer uh, has to learn also to get to know how to choose the good and the right source because some 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 sources on the internet are shit. Uh, low quality. Low quality. And <laughs> on TV, so it's the same. So or it's, biased or completely. Uh, yeah, people have to to get to know how to educate themselves and not jump on the first uh, media. And I think. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, that's, 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 that's uh, yeah. I agree. That's the, same thing. Like journalism is fighting with the credibility and biases. Also. Yeah. Yes. A lot. So, so how can how can we uh, we uh, we go out of it that yes. uncredibility and biasness? <laughs> how can work on it? Actually, there are a lot of uh, well missing in the sources of news. There are a click bit bit on the uh, yeah. internet, and these are the things which are influence the main journalism. So, how can we move ahead from this uncredible and biased journalism? Well, it's like uh, I guess it's uh, patience and the intensity of like it's the people that. Maybe there are a few people that we see too much these days, and uh, that needs to be spoken of. I'm in touch. I, I have a last question. Please continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's it's about the people we see too much uh, that that maybe might not carry a, a good example of what journalism is. Like you were talking also about the the, the click farm and all these yeah. like these trolls on the internet. But you also have media that are growing, uh, trying to debunk the information. This is also yes. a trend, and this is patiently like this has been spreading. Like you you you. Have, you have like a, yeah. a news clip you have like different uh, medias who are trying to slowly slowly and it's spreading and this is i think the the, the only way how uh, like because people are less and less happy with the journalism they get and now the medias have to make take a decision do we want them to hate us do we want to brainwash them or do we want to <laughs> to, to be like cited as an example of uh, good information or like yeah. yeah i think as a journalist we have a duty to try to how to say that, provide as much as possible a very high quality information. Exactly. And this is our duty. And um, uh, you have many young journalists. I mean, like uh, the, the young, uh, she, she, she's, uh, she has Indian origin, I think. Uh, the Pulitzer Prize oh, yes, this year. Yes, yes. Huh? She has Indian so, parents. Yes, that's huh? right. And she, investigate about, uh, she investigated about the Uyghur in China. Yes for a few years. She's only 30 years old. Yes. She did such an amazing job. Yes. You know, with experts, she was searching for satellite images to like show uh, how the Uyghur camps were yes, built exactly. years after years. She's only 30 years old and she has been kicked out of China. And despite of that, she, yes. she chose to again and again and again, search, search, call experts and everything. So if you want to do a good journalism, you have to push yourself to be excellent and to just go for the, you know, like uh, not, yeah. not the easy information. Even so, though objectively yeah. there are many constraints to the job because yeah. of the different medias we are working on, like, like time constraints is one of those. The, the money constraint, like you, you would like to spend like uh, 
like 20 days for uh, a small story and uh, like something that doesn't to be short but you want to make it deep and informative but sometimes you don't have a choice you have to do it fast you have to <laughs> do it like with sure. very low budget sometimes we yeah. cannot travel as much as we would like but still we have to inform so what do we do are we are we sending story like to so so we have to this, this is something I we need to find despite, balance yes yeah. that despite the context you always have to give your best even if you have yes. a low budget and a lack of yeah. time yeah. and not go towards the simplicity or the but but when you do that and this is what we do and then this is can... a risk yeah, with 24 uh, 7 yeah. channels where yeah. like these people will have two three stories to do in a day and yeah. they will run and of course like and we cannot we can hardly blame them this is also the system like constraint and conscience maybe this is the duty of the next generation to try to choose yeah. the good um, uh, media to work with and to say no to the news channel who are just like you know doing bullshit and try to be hired by a more uh, um, trustful medias and uh, maybe this is our duty to try to change also the this uh, how to say that this uh, paysage this landscape. landscape yeah because we are always scared that we won't have money or salary and that we have to accept this kind of uh, job but sometimes maybe it's better to try to take a bit of time and put more effort to go towards more trustable medias try to to yeah. help them to grow Oh, am I saying nonsense? No, no. <laughs> no. I don't know one question. Sure, Actually, last one. Do you have any message to newcomer students who, ah. who have completed their high school education and now wish to get a degree in journalism and international journalism? Any specific message or any suggestions? Like, as uh, yeah, I mean, as Matthew was saying, like you have to persevere. And uh, I mean, I'm not that old. Also, we're not that old. We're like, you know, <laughs> early thirties. Sharing the early ideas. Early thirties. So uh, not that long time back, we were uh, also junior journalists. Yeah. And uh, I think we came uh, like I think most junior journalists come with similar uh, ideals. I mean, some are very focused and know exactly what they want, and and they are figured out. Okay. And but it's I think the majority of the people of the people who want to be a journalist have ideals and all. And uh, well, persevere, try to not give up, stick to these ideas. And sometimes you won't be able to do it uh, right away, but with experience and, uh, and uh, also talent and focus and hard work, then you should be able to get to, yeah. to do a work that is actually what you were aiming at, like when you were a student, that is like true information and, uh, and something that yeah. is uh, maybe uh, helping in any way. Yeah, this is a, this is such a beautiful job. At at the very beginning, journalism is to tell the story of people and of the humanity, and it's 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 supposed to be such a nice job. Mm. And uh, these past years, it has been merchandised. We are selling informations, or, or we are selling goods, mm. and this has to change. And for this, it's I think the new generation has really something to to do, go for trustable medias and, and try try your best to provide the good information. Because each time I, I, I hear people saying that uh, I'm working for the mainstream, that I am part of the system, that because of us, like the society yeah. is going wrong. I feel terrible because this is not what we are doing. Each time I'm going on the field and I am meeting people, I'm, I'm so happy to be able to tell their story, to share moments yeah, with yeah. them, to share the, their emotions what they are going through and this is like what this um, job should be and uh, not just like a, a product that I want to sell to make profits this it's a nonsense so I think you have this responsibility on your shoulders yeah. now <laughs> <laughs> what an inspiring answer yeah it's a beautiful yeah. work so yeah, the, I mean, I 